What is good with y'all, man? So today I'm going to be going over the best AP lineup to run, in my opinion, right now in Madden 23. Now I'm going to be showing you guys basically how I'm running my AP, explaining why I'm running it like this, and I'm going to show you basically just the basis of what you need to know of what ability should you have on the field and what price you should be paying for these for offense and defense first i'm gonna go over what ap i'm running on offense and then i'm gonna explain why and then i'm gonna show you guys just kind of what the basis of what you really need are right so for the offensive line at left tackle i got secure protector threat detector left guard i got nasty streak center i got identifier right guard nasty streak right tackle edge protector route technician tight end two short and elite now i do use two tight ends from my uh my offense i do not use three receivers uh wide receiver one short out and route technician like i said i don't use three receivers so i just have human joystick on him because uh i use him for kickoff uh running back one i got tank and i have bruiser quarterback number one down to mcnab i have pass the elite and uh fearless Fullback, I have goal line back and wide receiver two. I have short out and route tech. Now I'm explaining to you why I'm running the AP like this, and then I'm gonna kind of tell you guys what you really need AP wise for offense. Starting with the offensive line. So at left tackle, like I said, I have threat detector and secure protector. Now secure protector is way better than edge protector. Now on my right tackle, Lane Johnson, I have edge protector, and the only reason why is because it's it's that's what he gets for zero AP. Um, I try to run as many Eagles as possible. I'm 57 out of 50 Eagles. I'm an Eagles fan, Eagles team teamer. It's what I do, all right? Don't mind me. But uh, if you can, on your left tackle and right tackle, you want to get Secure Protector. Get, there's guys to get it for zero AP. Go and get them. Now, I also have Threat Detector on my left tackle, John Madden. Uh, it doesn't matter who you put it on. You definitely want to put it on somebody on your offensive line, though. Um... There is one person that gets it for zero AP. It's Larry Allen. Only problem is he's like two mil. So, you know, it's either you pay two mil for him or you got to pay one AP for threat detector, which I'm willing to pay for because on third and fourth down, being able to see where your opponent is blitzing from, who he's blitzing, it just opens up so many lanes when you get to throw the ball. Like, it just it just makes your life so much easier. Now, on both of my guards, my left guard and my right guard, Samalo and John Runyon, which John Runyon is out of position, um, I have nasty streak. Now, I do a decent amount of running the ball. And if you will run the ball as well, I would recommend, you know, there's a lot of guys, guards especially, that get nasty streaks for zero AP. If you have runs for like a power run, any run where they're pulling, even a halfback base, anything where guys are pulling out in front. Uh, and it doesn't, it, doesn't, it doesn't even have to be runs like that. It could be just a normal inside zone. But if your lineman is getting downfield, because that's what Nasty Streak is, when uh, your offensive lineman gets to the second level, doesn't matter who the guy sees. If he sees him, he's laying him out. So it's a very good ability, especially for guys that run the ball. Um, if you're not big on that, then maybe just try to get some zero AP secure protectors to put on your guards or zero AP post-ups, something like that. You don't. The main point is we don't want to have to pay any ap for our offensive line and i mean no ap if you're using a, a total of more than two ap on your offensive line it's crazy shouldn't even be using two ap i'm using one just because the threat detector and it shouldn't be anything else over that nothing over like we should be paying two for the o-line just try to keep it as cheap as possible and like i said my right tackle has edge protector but I'd rather have secure, uh, I, I can tell you straight up, like, Edge Protector gets its fucking face shredded in, like, if you can just get yourself a zero AP secure, trust me. And like I said earlier, I do use two tight ends for my offense, so I actually use Travis Kelsey and Kyle Pitts. Uh, tight end wise, ability wise, just, just, you gotta put the zero AP stuff on them. You don't want to pay any AP for your tight end. I get route tech for zero on Kelsey, and I get short and elite for zero for, uh, Kyle Pitts, so... If you get one of those two abilities for zero, put one of those on. You want to have some type of route running ability on them because you don't really need anything else on them. That's that's really all that matters. So just get the, get the free stuff on them and uh, do not pay anything for them. Now for the wide receivers, my wide receiver one and my wide receiver two, I use short out and route technician. Now you don't have to go that AP combination. You could go short out and short in. I think the CD Lamb card gets short out and short in for a total of zero AP, which that's that's pretty much a must-have if you're trying to save AP. But the reason why you want to rock short out and then some type of other route running ability like short in or route tech is because short out is what's going to help you beat the initial man coverage press. You don't want to go against a guy and they're playing, they're doing press man, they're blitzing you, and not have short out elite. Because if you don't have that out there, you are not going to get off him. The short out elite beats the press. 
and then you use either a route technician or short end elite for it to actually uh, light up on the actual cut of the route. So that is why I use that. I use route tech, but if you if you could also use short end, it's up to you. It's you know it's a preference thing. But you see, I'm only spending one AP on both of my receivers, and I technically I so I got four guys I have to run routes: Kelsey, Pitts, Carter, and Carmichael, and I'm only spending two AP on those four guys. So that's that that's very good. Now Keith Byers is taking up basically actually most of the AP. He's the only person that's taking up more than one AP. I have Bruiser and Tank on him now. Obviously, you guys have running backs that actually get good zero AP discounts. Like I said, I run Eagle Steam team. He bars are really good, by the way. Like, this running back is amazing. He needs an upgrade, but he doesn't really get anything good for zero. Like, he gets a goal line back, but I use that on the fridge just because he's way, uh, you know, bigger and just, you know, he's hard to tackle already. So, um, running back wise, just put, you know, whatever they get on for free. It's not that serious. My running back doesn't, so, you know, don't do everything that I do. You know, I'm trying to tell you guys better ways to do what I do. Just, just trust me. Now, for your quarterback, there's going to be a lot of different takes on this. You can see I'm literally only rocking past lead elite and fearless. Now, you're like, no gunslinger? Here's the thing. Gunslinger, you only need it for certain releases. If you're running slinger run, slinger one, so that's the Aaron Rodgers release, you do not need gunslinger. I have used that release with gunslinger and without it, and I'm gonna tell you right now, it's the exact same. It actually doesn't change it. If you're running slinger three, which is the Lamar release, um, I'm not gonna. You don't. You don't really need gunslinger for that release either. You really don't. Now the quarterback I'm using McNabb, which I actually haven't even played a game with him yet. You know what I mean? I know he gets generic three, which I, I actually surprisingly I'm a fan of generic three this year. I know a lot of people are not liking it. I like Gen three this year. It's it's, it's good. You know, people just I don't know. People just it's, it's preference. It's a preference thing. Um, you don't. I'm not gonna say you entirely need gunslinger for Gen three because you don't. Uh, but th there's some releases that need Gunslinger. If you feel like your release needs it, then put it on. But make sure that your guy gets it for zero AP. You should not be paying AP for Gunslinger. Like on McNabb, I'm paying zero AP for Fearless, one AP for Passy to Leap. Um, and I don't use Hot Route Master. That's another thing. So, you know, if you're someone that does like to run Hot Route Master, it's going to cut into your AP. Thankfully, the, my scheme and the way I play, I do not need it. Only thing I need... It's a velocity ability to, you know, for him to actually spin the ball and, you know, put some pressure on that thing and fearless so I don't get under pressure. So that is literally all I need. Some of you guys, though, you know, maybe your quarterback has a bad release. I don't know. I'm trying to think. I'm trying to think of a guy. The Pat Mahomes has a terrible release. Maybe you want to put Gunslinger on him. You know, guys with terrible releases like that, you want to put Gunslinger on. And then if you use High Route Master, which, you know, which is the, I say you want to put your slot receiver on a corner route and things like that, like I said. I don't use it, so it saves me AP, and this is just kind of how I run my offense AP. Last, I do have goal line back on the fridge, so once I get in the five-yard line, I just sub him in, and a better block in the O-line, he just walks in the end zone. So that is, you know, my take on the offense. Let's go ahead and go over to the defense. For the defensive side of the ball, the thing is, I run zone coverage, so I'm going to speak on this from a zone coverage aspect and, you know, with zone chaos and things like that, because I don't really run man a whole lot. I mean, I do sometimes, I'll mix it in, but I don't run it enough to where I can speak on man coverage, KOs, and things like that. So we're going to be talking about, like, a lot of Tampa 2, Cover 4, and, you know, just zone KOs in general. The abilities that I'm running on defense, uh, both of my safeties, Troy Vincent and Jalen Mills, which, yes, I have cornerbacks at safety, Eagles theme team. We got a lot of corners. These guys aren't too bad at tackling. Uh, Troy V, I have mid zone KO, deep out zone KO, pick artist. Same thing on Jalen Mills, mid zone, deep out, pick artist. Uh, I do have Lurker. I do. I use linebackers. I do not use safeties in the box. I like the way linebackers play this year. They animate really good with Lurker, and they they play the run way better than this year than us safeties do. In a nutshell, basically, linebackers are better than safeties this year. Uh, at this point of the game, with how the AP and stuff is, so I use Kaiser and Jordan Hicks in the box with Lurker. Um, I also use Hassan Reddick. I have Unpredictable on him for zero. Cornerback wise, Slay and Asante Samuel have the same AP deep out zone and pick artist. My slot corner, Eric Allen, I only have pick artist on him. And for my D line, both of my D tackles, Haloti Nada and John Madden, I have inside stuff for zero AP. And my other edge rusher is Reggie White, who gets edge threat elite and no outsiders. Now I'm going to explain to you, you know, kind of like 
what you're really looking for on defense AP wise. So we're going to start with the defensive line. So with your D tackles, you're going to want guys with zero AP inside stuff. At this point, we got it's six AP, man. We can't be paying AP for inside stuff. So there's a lot of guys that pretty much get it. Uh, John Madden is free, gets literally all team chems. And I'm sure there's other guys other than Haloti now to get it. So do that. Uh, for your edge rusher wise, I got unpredictable on Hassan Reddick. And obviously, you know, Reggie White gets a pretty nice stack um honestly the thing with that is it, it, it's so hard what to say to put on your edge rushes because guys are running you know secure protectors there's all these old line abilities that pretty much just cancel out almost all the d line abilities that it's like you know you just want to go with whatever he gets for zero if he gets edge third elite for zero go ahead and pick that if he gets double or nothing for zero go ahead and pick that it's it's you know whatever that guy gets those are the two that i would preferably say to go with though Hassan Reddick, though, I only have unpredictable on. But the thing with Hassan, with Hassan Reddick for me, I'll be honest, he, a lot of times, he's just running in there free. So it's like, and even when he does this, I don't know, unpredictable is actually really not that bad. So it's cool. And then Reggie White, like I said, I got the edge third elite and the no outsiders on him. Uh, but it's like, if they got secure protector, then the edge third elite gets canceled out. So it's like, you know, but it's zero AP and you want to at least have something on them. So double or nothing or edge third elite, definitely for your edge rushers. Now, if you don't care about inside stuff for your D tackles and you're like, you want to put more pass rushing type abilities on them, that's fine. Go with double or nothing for your D tackles. There's definitely a lot of guys that get that for zero AP. I think Haloti Nada even gets that for uh, zero AP, I want to say, right? Haloti Nada does not. Never mind. He gets demoralizer and the later wow what a what a joke now for your linebackers or really just whoever you're using in the box if you're using safeties i'll say this if you're using safeties in the box what i would recommend putting on them is some zero ap secure tacklers because with this new ap system that's what most people are getting rid of because a lot of us have secure tacklers out there but we had to get rid of them with this new six ap system which i did i don't have them out there if you're using safeties in the box i would go with secure tackler on them uh because there's guys that get that for zero ap and they already animate so you don't need lurker on them but if you're using linebackers you're definitely you're probably only gonna be able to go with lurker unless you do have extra ap if you somehow do have some extra ap out there then i would go with secure tacklers for whoever you got in the box for your safeties now i i, I probably i use a lot of ap all my safeties like i said i got deep out zone and mid zone the pick artist is zero so i'm not paying for that but i'm paying for those two ko's for both of my safeties and the reason why i have mid zone and deep out on it's got to run a lot of cover four quarters, and I run a lot of Tampa, too. The cover four quarters, I like mid zone because it, it helps you stop those quick passes over the middle and just that very quick stuff. And then the deep out zone is nice because it stops all, it'll, it'll knock out the stuff just, you know, deep downfield. And I need my safeties to be very versatile, and they got to be able to do all that. So I'm definitely paying extra AP for them. Now, am I going to say you need all that on them? I don't know. It depends on your defense. If you're running like a Tampa, two, maybe only use deep out zone. If you're running the cover four quarters, maybe only run the mid zone KO, right? But if you're running like a hybrid and, you know, you want them to do all that stuff, then I would honestly go with all that, if you, you know, if you're able to. Now, like I said before, I can't speak on the man coverage KOs because I don't run in a lot of man coverage. So I don't know, but it was on KO wise, I got you. Uh, for my outside corners, Slay and Asante, I got deep out zone and pick artist. And, you know, that's basically that, that you, you almost have that deep out zone on those guys because that's how you stop ags i mean if you don't got those chaos out there you're going to get ags especially since i run a lot of cover for quarters those guys are you know running to the outside a lot so that that that's almost a must have now my slot corner eric allen i only have pick artist on him now i do run nickel normal that nickel over i, I always call it nickel normal i'm probably always going to call it that that's the defense i run uh I used to have deep route K on him, deep route K on him before the ap change because I, I my slot a lot of times i'm either manning him up I'm blitzing him or he's on like a zero yard curl flat or something like that or a very short hook curl so i used to have deep route ko on him for when i manned him up now i pretty much lost that with the new ap change so for you i don't know it just depends what do you usually whatever you usually do with your slot corner just the, the adjustment you do the most for him i would say just put that ability on him in a nutshell that's pretty much just what is I would say the best stuff I could recommend ability wise on offense and defense with the new AP change. Now, obviously, I know I could be saving even more AP if I got certain players. Look, man, I run an Eagles theme team. I like to run as many Eagles as possible. I literally only have, what, one guy that's not an Eagle on my team. I think Kyle Pitts. Yeah, Kyle Pitts is literally the only person. Everybody else is literally an Eagle on my team. Well, except for my kicker, Justin Tucker. But so I, so I look, I know I could be saving more AP. But at the end of the day, I'm here to have fun, man. 
Um, and that, trust me, the, the abilities that I'm recommending and this stuff does work. I just went 24 and 1 in Mud Champs, literally running this AP. Like, this stuff works. Now, obviously, you got to go out there and execute. I, I, You know, a guy, somebody could give you the blueprint of what you got to do, but you still got to go out there and execute. It's up to you to do it. Uh, let me know if you guys got any questions about abilities or things like that, or if you got maybe some recommend recommendations for me, ability-wise. So, uh, that is pretty much going to do it, though, boys. Like, comment, subscribe, man, and your boy is out.